understand the mysteries of the universe, light emanating from celestial bodies is very important to gather information, such as the position and age of the said body. However, it is very difficult to capture the movements of light in distant universe. Many different types of astronomical telescopes are used to detect this light. One of these instruments is India's largest optical telescope in Devsthal. The 3.6 meter diameter telescope operated by the Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences or ARES of the Department of Science and Technology is also considered to be the largest telescope of its kind in Asia. The Devsthal Optical Telescope or DOT started functioning on March the 30th 2016 at Devsthal about 22 kilometers from the Aries headquarters in Nenital. Since then Indian astronomy has recorded many important achievements. Recently an indigenous spectrograph made by the scientists at Aries has been installed on this telescope. With the installation of this fully indigenous spectrograph, extremely faint celestial sources can be observed. And the spectrograph is uh, uh, basically it collects the light from uh, any light source like, uh, you know, a terrestrial object or what we do in the celestial sky, any stars or galaxy. And it can divide that light into many colors. So in, in fact, you can see the spectrum. So you can see like a rainbow of every star or every galaxy that we, you know, can see in the night sky. So this is the spectrograph. And uh, this is installed on the, you know, Asia's largest optical telescope, which is just behind me, 3.6 meter Devastal optical telescope in Nainital, Uttarakhand. So the spectrograph is used for observations of uh, many faint stars, distance galaxies, or even black holes. And the main emphasis is that we want to look at the colors in these objects. This device is named ARIES, Devsthal Faint Object Spectrograph and Camera or ADFOSC. The instrument uses complex arrangement of several lenses to produce sharp images of the celestial sky and serves as a backbone of the 3.6 meter Devsthal optical telescope to detect and observe celestial sources of faint light. The telescope collects photons coming from distant celestial sources and the spectrograph sorts these photons into different colors and then converts them into recordable electronic signals using an in-house device. When you develop it within the country, you assemble it, uh, the cost comes down. So for example, this spectrograph uh, cost us almost 50% of what we would have spent if we had to import it uh, usually from outside. But uh, the cost is just one factor. Second factor is the maintenance. If you, if you are going to buy anything from outside, uh, the technology is with them, all the know-how is with them. So we have to be always dependent on them for any kind of maintenance or any kind of upgradation. But since we developed this spectrograph within the country and all the expertise, you know, all the know-how is sitting with us. So the maintenance is done here and uh, upgradations are done here. So the real cost saving comes in the operation over many years, in fact. Uh, so it is not just the cost of building, but also the cost of maintenance, which we you know, completely save by doing things within country. This feat, which is a step in making the nation self-reliant, has enabled the 3.6-meter Devsthal optical telescope to detect the sources of faint light even in remote galaxies dating back to the birth of our universe. The instrument is being used to study distant quasars, regions around supermassive black holes and cosmic explosions like supernova.